Hi, my name is Michael Gaskin. I'm a senior DevOps manager for global e-commerce at Puma. I'm responsible for all of our developer tools as well as our public cloud infrastructure. So everything that our developers use to store, build, deploy, test, and monitor their code. So we have about 45 different Puma.com websites around the world. Like any e-commerce business, we want to know if these sites are up and running, if they're taking orders, if our customers are being blocked in any way. And most of the incidents that we have involve the absence of something. So the absence of orders, the absence of revenue, and it's kind of hard to detect these things. You don't want to set static threshold to zero because sometimes you're just degraded and not all the way completely out. But at the same time, you need to be able to have the ability to detect when something is um, happening less than it should be. So that's a big challenge that we've wrestled with for a long time. So before Anadot, we didn't have any tools that were capable of distinguishing what is normal on our site and then alerting us when something is abnormal. So we could only alert on static thresholds um, and that worked in a few cases, but there are, uh, Puma is a highly cyclical business. You know, every day our sites go through the same rise and fall of activity and, and revenue. So we uh, really didn't have a way before Anadot to um, take what we know about that normal cyclical behavior and turn that into intelligence. So I first discovered Anadot in 2017 when I was at a previous employer. And ever since I first heard about Anadot and learned about the concept behind it, it's always come to my mind as uh, something that's good to use on this highly cyclical data. So as soon as we were looking to find out um, about these abnormal situations in our e-commerce business, Anadot came to mind as a way to do that. We are monitoring our e-commerce sites. We're monitoring all of our APIs, such as traffic, adds to cart, logins, uh, purchases, any other uh, kind of action that the user can take on the site. And we're using it to determine um, if things are blocking the purchase funnel or if things are not happening as often as they should be. You could say it's um, it's business monitoring, for sure. You know, we are looking at business KPIs, king among which is revenue. So it's it's definitely more business monitoring than it is uh, technical monitoring. The big strength of Anadot is that it's able to take a metric and it's able to look at it across a lot of different dimensions. So for example, if you have one website that spans a bunch of different countries and there are like different payment methods per country, um, you could have a situation where gift cards stopped working in Switzerland for two weeks, but nobody really noticed. And you know, there were gift cards working in general, but Anadot's ability to take that like, you know, number of gift card purchases metric and split it across the country dimension allows us to watch out for uh, unusual situations like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, some of these downtimes can run into tens of thousands of dollars per hour in lost sales. So the faster that we can detect them and respond to them, the more money we save. Yeah, so the primary users of Anadot within Puma are our regional e-commerce operations teams. We really like Anadot for them because it's not like they have to be inside the tool all day staring at a dashboard. Anadot watches all of the metrics for them and it only alerts them when something is unusual. So that fits into their way of working very well. I think the most important thing when you're implementing Anadot is to really understand what data that you have and where that data lives. And if you have good access to where the data lives and you have a good understanding of the data that is in that source, then once the data is in Anadot, the configuration is very easy. Uh, setting up alerts is, is very intuitive. Anybody can do it. It's not a very technical operation, but uh, the complexity of getting data in really just depends on where your data resides. There are lots of collectors that you can use for different sources. Um, so pick your collector of choice, have a good understanding of what kind of data you're bringing in, and then um, you can do anything from there. Puma has a highly cyclical business, and so many of our incidents are signaled by the absence of something. 
And it turns out that detecting the absence of something is a difficult technological pr problem. And a lot of um, ordinary monitoring tools are not really set up to do it. But I think Anodot is unique in the market and that uh, detecting those anomalies is what it is laser focused on doing. Mm -hmm.